Hey guys, it's Moogalore here, and I'm here with my brothers, Kill Lancer and DX Strike. And welcome to Game Fiends. And today we're going to talk about Square Enix, um, their press conference at 2021 E3. Just like Microsoft in our last video, we talked about how Microsoft had their presentation, and Square Enix decided to say, hey, let's follow up and see what we can do. And they presented um, some games that some may or may not be looking forward to um, in the coming years. So let's dive right into it. Now, Square Enix. They opened up with a title that I forgot all about. I'm pretty sure a lot of people forgot all about, but um, they pretty much revealed uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, gameplay and trailer, which I was surprised. I was only expecting a trailer, but they, they gave us gameplay um, to go along with it. And this was a game made by Eidos, uh, the people who made um, Ex Machina or Deus Ex uh, Machina. And I, I don't know, like these guys have a great catalog and their and their pedigree when it comes to designing games is uh, phenomenal. So I wasn't really expecting, you know, anything like underwhelming from these guys. I was really looking forward to uh, what they're showing off with Guardians of the Galaxy. But I'm going to give it off to DX Strike. Just give us, you know, some quick thoughts on what you thought about uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy by Square Enix. Okay, well, uh, I was definitely expecting this game to be shown. I didn't think it was going to be the first thing that dropped, but uh, I, I, I loved it. You know, I, I loved the, the trailer. I loved the gameplay. Um, I can't wait to see, you know, more uh, of a deep dive in, you know, how everything really, really works and the progression of the game. But uh, it definitely had a dope presentation. And, you mm -hmm. know, I, uh, I don't really know exactly what the story is about. But it, it showed some chemistry of the characters and the comedy, and I, I thought it was pretty cool. So, Keel answer? Now, for me, I, it definitely knocked my socks off. Like, I, I wasn't expecting any of this. Like, I, I'm definitely excited to get my hands on it. And I wasn't expecting it this year. You know, I thought this game was going to come out next year. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. October. Come out this year. October. I, I'm, come out my I'm birthday definitely month. Getting, uh, I, I was. I'm not sure how much the limited edition costs, so... I might be going to bring that to bring it uh the pricing up on that but i i definitely may want to look into the limited edition but what, what do you think moving lord oh man like like i said i'm not really like like into you know a lot of action games and stuff like that but this really really looks cool of course my baby gamora is in there and she's wearing the the suit that she wears um in the more you know uh recent interpretations of her and also she was my main in marvel's catcom infinite so it looks dope. It looks epic. I'm looking forward to it. And we definitely want to do a more of a breakdown in a separate video to itself. So we get into, you know, a, a, the nitty gritty and what we found and and what we enjoy so much about the trailer. So we're going to move on to uh, the next couple of games that they also revealed. Uh, first, they, they did show off the, I guess you could say the collection to, uh, what was it, what's it called? Strange, was, what's the name of the game? Was it Strange, was it Stranger Things? That's a Stranger Things. No, Strange, Strange Happy, life, life, Happy. life is Strange. Life, life is Strange, yeah, Life is Strange. Like, I'm not really I'm interested good. in it uh, I, and I everything. Less but, for that. Yeah, they, they, they showed that off and there's a collection. Um, and I, I think if you pre-ordered it, pre-order it or, or something like that, you can get the, uh, the HD collection that they're gonna have alongside the the newest um, was a Life is Strange um, game that's part of the Life is Strange series. So they they showed off that. I know that has a pretty I guess you could say a niche uh, fan base that everybody's looking forward to when it comes to that. And then of course they also showed off the uh, Marvel Avengers uh, yeah. expansion. Yeah, the they showed Panthers off a couple. On, yeah. yeah, the Black Panther th uh, expansion. So I guess we can. Give the keel answer. What do you think about what they've shown as far as the Avengers, you know, trailer, the the, the expansion they show off? Because you, you guys have the game. I decided not to get the game, but what do you guys think? Do you think this is going to be something that is going to, I guess you say, bring people back into it? Just to summarize, what do you think? Well, I don't think it's going to bring people back to it, like, you know, long term. It's just going to bring them back maybe like a month, maybe like a few weeks or so. I was definitely impressed how uh, Black Panther was designed and i'm just i'm just waiting to see whatever content is going to be that's going to be coming coming with the black panther i'm just going to let everything build up then i'm just going to tackle it uh what do you think dx mm -hmm. uh i thought the was it the presentation of you know them showing black panther was pretty cool down to the music and the, the character design and stuff like that and the action within it which is all you know well and dandy but you know where was the gameplay you know <laughs> 
we will yeah we'll, I'll, I'll, they've been teasing black panther since when chadwick bozeman died you know so and we still haven't they've been working on it since we still haven't seen gameplay and then they showed like the little uh I guess the ending part of the Monica saga, she has the, you know, the cube and stuff. They show a little bit of different, uh, you know, scenes within that and uh, missions within that. But, you know, and it, it says something about summer and beyond. No, we don't need to be summer and beyond. We need that <laughs> stuff now. Like, we need that content now because, <laughs> like, yeah, man. But, um, yeah, uh, it, it, it was okay. I mean, it was, it was good. It just that I just know the future. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, for real, I know the future. The expansion is going to bring us us back for you know a couple like month or, like a month or so, and then it's going to go dry again because they're not giving us content. You know. But yeah, that's what my thoughts. Okay, and then the of course they showed um, they had a, a remaster collection of uh, Final Fantasy, which is coming to Steam. Which you it has it's like the anthology. If you ever played Final Fantasy anthology? That was on um, on the PlayStation One. They have, they have Final Fantasy VI and a, another, a couple other Final Fantasy that was that was added to it. But this collection is going to have Final Fantasy one through six. Um, I wonder if they're going to, uh, yeah, it is remastered, so they're definitely going to fix some of the, you know, the textures and just just update it just a bit. So if anybody's a Final Fantasy fan, and I'm a Final Fantasy fan, but um, do I need the collection? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Not sure. It's not something I'll definitely want to, you know, some, not something I want to dive into. Um, right away, it'll probably be something I'll probably pick up much, much later because I have a backlog of RPGs as it is anyway. But that was just it with that with the Final Fantasy collection. That's not really anything to really like expound on. Definitely. But the game, the, the game that I do want to that I do want to talk about is uh the Final Fantasy uh, uh not Final Fantasy the Babylon Fall. Uh, they sh they finally show off some actual uh, gameplay. This is something that they had showing off um, last year or the year before. Man, that was and yeah. everybody was. I believe it was the year before. Yeah, and everybody was wondering what what it, what it was all about, but everybody did speculate that it was going to be something that you know related to like next gen or you know uh, as far as the game is concerned. But we finally got a chance to actually see uh, what the game is all about, and it looks interesting. It, it's like a tower. They said they said it's gonna be an online uh it's gonna be like a online service type game where they're gonna constantly keep games as a service that's what it is they're gonna constantly keep updating it um with dlc and and things like that and other story elements but it's like the type of game where you just it's like a a challenge move but with story like you just climb up the towers and got different classes and stuff yeah. you know what do you what do you what do you think dx uh from what you saw uh, i i thought it looked uh pretty cool i like the character design um <laughs> visuals weren't weren't all that all that great to me in my opinion yeah um but then again the the, the streams today was kind of kind of trash you know everything every video they showed was more so pixelated so right you couldn't really see the you know the the visuals at his at his you know highest point but yeah it, it, it looks it looks like a platinum game you know it looks like a platinum uh, yeah. games game so uh, it, it's most likely going to be it's most likely going to be good um it seems like a, a fun game to play with your friends whatever but yeah i, I think it looks okay what about you kill answer well, well for me it like when i first looked at it 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 kind of like knocked me off guard because i'm like i wasn't really expecting it to look like this you know like the characters and everything not seeing the characters are terribly designed or anything it's just i would just like just offset on that right there but i do want to give the game a try as everybody knows and you know like you guys know I, I love playing multiplayer games especially when it comes down to playing with y'all guys or just playing with you know with the with the boys and stuff like that and this would be a nice game to uh stream in my opinion you can just chill maybe get a little story in and stuff like that and just relax and play the game from what i'm seeing uh within the gameplay video right there but i'm definitely interested in knowing more about the story and knowing more about the world Sweet, sweet. So, last but not least, because um, we, we only want to highlight the games that really that really stuck out. Because uh, Square Enix uh, press conference didn't really have that much. It pretty much showed a lot of familiar um, things, and while throwing in a little bit here and there of uh, of games that we haven't seen before. And this one right here is what we're going to talk about, which is uh, Final Fantasy Origins. It's called Stranger Parad Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. Now we're gonna talk about this in more in depth in a separate video to itself, 
but what we have seen so far um from the press conference this was something that was talked about um in a rumor in a leak about two weeks ago which i was telling my brothers about and this is something that yoshi p even talked about a few years ago that uh even though he may not be working on this one but he did mention that he would like to do something in the akins of like a dark souls so this is like a dark soul meets uh final fantasy and it looks quite it looks interesting i, I i'm looking forward to see uh where they would go with this uh dx right what do you what are your thoughts on this i think it looks like dope like i the, the, to see you know enough i didn't think that uh was it koei tecmo uh games and team ninja was going to do another final fantasy game you know because they did the the city uh, i wasn't expecting them to even handle this game I, I was more so thinking like from software from the rumors of the dark uh, soul series um to do do this game but you know team ninja doing uh you know with people with the neo doing the final fantasy game that there's like a souls like game and stuff like that I, i'm down i mean the trailer looked good the gameplay looked good um the visuals could have been a little bit better but um like i said i like i like games like these especially it's final fantasy well actually i can't really say i like games like this i'm interested in them but they're, they're really difficult but but the fact final fantasy's name is on it and the elements is mm. going to be in it i'm definitely getting this game no matter how hard it is no matter how frustrating it's going to be i'm getting this game mm -hmm. so i'm down dope what about you kia as, as for me um the visuals and everything most likely they're going to polish this up we're not getting it till next year anyway but the thing that really really almost teeny was, was killing it just a teeny bit with me was seeing the main character the main character looked like some generic dude from the final fantasy 15 uh comrades join and i'm like oh what the f and then his clothes and stuff like that was kind of like almost like taking me out of the submersion of, of the trailer and stuff i'm like yo why is this boy looking like this i said this this is unacceptable then i started seeing other the armors that you can get you know to put on the character so i don't really have to see his face like that i was kind of disappointed that he didn't really look like uh almost like animates like the like clown and how to squall on him look he just looked like some rugged like regular dude that i would see off the street well if, if you ask me he kind of looked like a blind hair version of the boy from final fantasy 15 with the katana you talking about um the dude on the front cover? <laughs> no 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 he was remember he was up at 15. yeah he, he's a the katana boy yeah. on 15. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know yeah, you're talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. He, he, like, he like a pilot swap. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. But they, 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 did, they did that on purpose because of the customization. Everybody, yeah, everybody else will have a staple look. Yeah, I, I just think they should have presented it with like, like, it, it should just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's kind of like how they did uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse in that generic <laughs> uh, uh, character. He looked like a, like a mess, got a scout or a cape, got all kind of like Gohan at the same time. Oh, and now that you, but yeah. now that you bring that up, um, that actually might be the case. That was probably probably just oh. a throw-in look. You trying to say you can make yeah. your own character? Yeah. All right, yeah. all right, I'm down, I'm down. All right, but go ahead, that's, go ahead. That's what I'm thinking. That, 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 that's what that's what I, I don't know. That's exactly what I what I'm thinking. And he just threw him in there or whatever but then again he's in a cut scene too I, I don't know but then again like i said when it comes to these trailers that could just be the trailer for this presentation they, yeah. they they might even be a thing in the game itself that's just something just to show off um for the game and stuff but um that's pretty much our overall thoughts overall for uh this presentation if i was to give it a, a, a score i'll also give this a c as well i mean they it, it didn't blow my socks off but it didn't disappoint me at either it was just i was just in between you know so i, I would i would give it a c uh, we definitely go into farther details uh with, with final fantasy origin and give our thoughts on it but what, what do you what do you if you was to give this a grade right now keo what would you give it well for me i would give it a c plus i would i okay. honestly got <laughs> Like it, 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 it totally, it totally knocked me off guard. Even though we were like, I guess, kind of like, you know, tipped on, you know, uh, a Souls type of uh, Final Fantasy game and stuff like that. So I, I guess, I guess for me, I, I would give it a C plus, just based off of that. Mm. What about you, DX? Uh, I'll have to agree with you, uh, Mugen Lord. Uh, I give it a C. Okay. All right. Well, this that pretty much wraps up this um press conference i definitely want to hear your thoughts and what do you think about the square enix 
2021 um, E3 press conference. Um, what games uh, are you excited for? What are you looking forward to? Um, what was your takeaway? Uh, what would you give it? If you used to give it a grade, what would you give it? Definitely want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button because it definitely helps us out in the, in the algorithm. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to hit the bell to be notified for more content from the Game Fiends. This is Mugen Lord and Your Lancer and DX Strike. Sign off. See you, Game Fiends, later. Peace out.